Hi, it's Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and I'm very excited to be shooting this video as a hero hostess. Today I'm going to show you how I created this card. It uses one of the sketches from the April contest, and I'll show you which one. It's the top one here with the tag and the banner, except I didn't use a tag. I decided that I would incorporate the sun as the top of the tag and the clouds as the bottom. So to create the sun, I used the large flower from Bold Pop Designs. The two clouds are from Hooray. The label itself is from Sending You Love. And the sentiment that I'll be using to recreate the card is from AXO. Uh, just so you know, my original sentiment is from sending Smiles messages. So the first thing I did was I stamped the sun, the label, and the sentiment on white cardstock. And then I attached the coordinating frame cuts with some washi tape. And then I ran that through my die cut machine and the clouds had to be fussy cut since I don't own the punches. I stamped the sentiment a little off to the right because I knew I was going to be trimming off the left side and so that's how it will look assembled. I've already attached the eyelet and for the background I'll show you how I created it using the tree trunks background. I covered it with pumice stone distress ink and then I started since it's it's longer than the actual width of the stamp I started on this end and made sure that it would show all the way to the edge press down. You could use a piece of scrap paper on top as well, just so you don't get the ink on your fingers. Okay, so then I have to cover this side as well. So I'm going to ink up the trees on this edge here. Just make sure they're covered well. And I'm going to use my finger at the top here to mark where the tree branch ends, and that one will begin. Okay, so there we have our background. And now I cut a strip of pattern paper from this new Abroad collection and of course there are matching stamps as well. What I did first was I adhered the sun to the back of the label with mini glue dots. And now it's going to be these two lower ones here. foam tape to adhere 
compare these two pieces to the middle section. And then the clouds. You once again use the glue dots. And just to gauge where they'll go, make sure they're centered before you press down on the adhesive. And the top cloud will go on with foam tape as well. So there's that, we're almost done. The last thing I did, and which is something I've been having a lot of fun with is um, I don't know if you could see here, there's a there's a sparkle underneath the eyelet. I've been inserting gemstones underneath so that the recipient has another little detail to look at when they receive it. Here we go. So there's that, and I'm going to round the outer two corners to finish. that coordinates very nicely with the label here. So there's that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.